Kyle Shanahan now 0-5 against Andy Reid. It's official. Number one, Kansas City's the best team in the league, maybe by a lot. Number yeah. two, they're easily the most resourceful team in the league. Everybody has injuries. Yes. Doesn't affect them at all. And number three, Andy Reid is separated from even the other good coaches. Kyle Shanahan's special teams, annual embarrassment. Kyle Shanahan's red zone offense, totally dependent, it appears, on Christian McCaffrey. Shanahan's a very good coach. But in high leverage situations, he doesn't have the adaptability, the ingenuity of Andy Reid. Kyle Shanahan has a very good system that's excellent with Christian McCaffrey. You take out that player, a running back, and even when their backup running back is good, it's not the same team. Andy Reid, hey, let's put Carson Wentz in the backfield with Mahomes. That'll get him. Again, <clears throat> both teams were missing a star running back. Both teams were missing a collection of receivers. Uh, neither quarterback played their best game ever. Offensive lines for both Kansas City and 49ers, okay. But in every single high leverage situation, Mahomes in Kansas City up here, Purdy Shanahan down there. Now, you could say to yourself, Colin, that, come on, don't be naive. This is all Mahomes. Okay, let's say it is. That's even worse news for San Francisco. You going to give the bag to Brock Purdy? Brock Purdy, let's please contextualize. Good quarterback. But when he's missing pieces, the red zone offense, meh. You know, his, his two big completions, both underthrown. Thankfully, Tom Brady called it out. This is what I've consistently said about Brock Purdy. He's a good quarterback with nice mobility. But he was just 8 for 18, missing Debo. Ayuk may be gone now. 8 for 18 on throws, just five yards downfield with three picks. That's what he was. Yes, he was missing Debo. And Mahomes has been missing uh, Rasheed Rice. Well, I mean, uh, Ayuk, yes, Ayuk dropped a ball and then left later. Look at what Kansas City's been doing for three years at wide receiver. Ham and egging it. Just trying to find anybody. Juju Smith, have him, lose him. Bring him back, gets hurt. That's, that's the story of the Chiefs for three years. Just trying to make it work. Bondo, Band-Aids, whatever works. So I, I think uh, uh, Brock Purdy is overwhelmingly, although I think he's got some talent, he has been the beneficiary of a good coach with a great system and a collection of Hall of Fame level, George Kittle, Trent Williams, Christian McCaffrey. Take those out. And there's almost no extraordinary DeBrock Purdy. Size, arm, movement. Eh. Yet in all those situations, when you remove all of those, Purdy and Mahomes are asked to do two different things. Purdy is asked in San Francisco, don't screw up. Here's the keys to the Mercedes. Don't screw up. That's what he's asked to do. Purdy is 6-8 and eight in games in which he's just had one, one turnover. Mahomes is asked to carry a franchise, get rid of Tyreek Hill, move off great players, average offensive tackles. Can you be magical when we don't have all the resources we had to start the year, start the dynasty, or start the game? Okay. We are off the rails officially on this conversation, okay? Let's be clear here. First off, let me say this, okay? The 49ers did not play good. Brock Purdy did not play good, right? That game was not good by any stretch of the imagination for the 49ers. But to use this as a way to crown the Kansas City Chiefs is kind of absurd, right? Um, I understand we're saying the 49ers were injured, and so look at the Chiefs, they were injured. But yes, if and I'm sure even 49ers fans will 100% admit this, okay? Mahomes is better than Brock Purdy, and Andy Reid is better than um, Kyle Shanahan. So if both teams are depleted and injured and have problems, then yes, Mahomes and Andy are going to beat Shanahan and 49ers. What makes the, the 49ers special and great is not just Brock Purdy and Shanahan and that we can just beat win with anyone. That's not what makes the 49ers special. Not to mention the Chiefs defense is elite and significantly healthier than, you know, compared to any of these other injuries that, you know, we're talking about, whether around the league or with this team. So to act like Mahomes carried this game, the, the score was 28 to 18 because of three turnovers. It was defense. 
so who carried who who was carrying this game and carrying this team um it's the defense for the Kansas City Chiefs that is incredibly obvious Patrick Mahomes went 16 for 27 I like how we use total yards for that one 154 yards zero touchdowns and two interceptions yeah he had 44 rushing you know how he got away with that big one because he did the thing where he hugged the sideline like he was going to go out of bounds and then they let up because every time they touch him on that sideline they blow they they throw the flag which is a which is absurd because then he was then they let up and then he kept going which is which is again and I'm not saying the the refs have his back I know a lot of people say that about the Chiefs but it's one of those things that's just getting out of hand and absurd so no to to be like oh the Kansas City Chiefs beat the 49ers who had who were using four through seven wide receivers right wide receiver four five six seven like had nothing going on their backup running back you know their third kicker and we're going to use that as a reference to say oh the Chiefs win they're the best what about the Lions or the Minnesota Vikings I mean that game was actually competitive that game involved two teams that were actually complete I mean make no mistake about it put it this way the Chiefs only put up 28 points when they got Brock Purdy to turn the ball over, not once, not twice, but three times. So even then, that's not even that good. I mean, the 40, the 49ers were actually in this game. They just could not score. The Chiefs were trying to give them this game. Brandon Ayuk's dropping a ball. And then, Brian, and then Ayuk goes down. And then his special teams and the punt return, right? They drop the, they drop the ball for a first down. Then they punt it. Then it's a big return. I mean, that alone just changed everything. But, I mean, the game was a mess from the beginning. And it was a mess for both teams. It really was. Because, I mean, you know that the Chiefs didn't feel great about it either. They're going for it, for, you know, for a punt. They do, like, a fake punt, which I thought was kind of a bizarre stop. But then they had an interception, right? Like, it was like that next the next drive, that drive was an interception. I mean, it was it was a rough day for the 49ers. There's, there's no way about it. But... What makes the 49ers special? Because he says, you know, there's no special to Brock Purdy. I've already talked about this at length, at length. What makes Brock Purdy special is maximizing the talent around him. Not elevating, maximizing. So you can't just give him no receivers and no run game and say, oh, come on, Brock Purdy, find a way. Majority of quarterbacks can't do that. And if you want to say, okay, well, Allen... um, Lamar and Mahomes can do that. Okay, so then Brock Purdy's not as good as Patrick Mahomes. Okay, like, is that that controversial? <laughs> I mean, like, does that mean up? Oh, Brock Purdy is a bum. Throw him away in the trash. Like, I, I, it's just like, it's just kind of absurd to me, honestly. It really is. Not to mention, we're using a terrible day for Brock Purdy. This day is terrible. No doubt, no doubt about it. But it's on the same day. This is what's so perfect. The same day, Patrick Mahomes plays awful. Absolutely, positively awful. Throws multiple interceptions. Also misses wide receivers that are open. Overthrows them. Bad throws in the dirt. And yet, he gets praised because they won. Because their defense was able to be really disruptive. And it's like, okay, well, Patrick Mahomes made some plays. Well, yeah, of course, he's a great quarterback. He is an all-time great quarterback. Of course, he's going to make plays. He's not a, I'm like, like, well, of course, he's going to make plays. But it's, it's just, it's just bizarre at this point how Patrick Mahomes can play awful, have a couple of nice plays, and we say, that's what makes Patrick Mahomes special. He can throw multiple interceptions. He can throw for not even 160 yards and win the game because he's amazing. Okay, you go do that with an average defense. Go do that with the 49ers defense and see if they if, see if the Chiefs are undefeated. Go do that. Go do that with the Eagles defense. Go do that with the Packers defense, the Texans defense. Go do that. Go do that with any defense except for the Chiefs defense and see if he's winning. The answer is no. The answer is no. He's not. So I, I, I think the Chiefs are in a rude awakening when they face a team that is actually healthy and ready to go start to finish. Because they've just faced the the, the the Saints who were 
decimated by injuries and also just not that great of a team. They beat the 49ers, who are a decent team this year when when healthy. Then when they get fully injured, yes, if you're, if you're expecting Brock Purdy and Shanahan to just put on their Superman capes and just beat the Kansas City Chiefs, not going to happen. That's just kind of absurd to use that as a standard. Um, but when they actually face a team that's healthy and, and fully competent and ready to go and has good offense, defense, and well preparation, I think the Chiefs will will face some true adversity. They were trying to give this game away. The 49ers just couldn't take it. That's way more about the 49ers than the Kansas City Chiefs. Way more. The 49ers need to get healthy. I don't think we need to panic about the 49ers and just say, oh, look at this. This was awful. Yes, they had backup running backs and backup wide receivers. Things that we see lots of quarterbacks struggle with. Even Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen and some of the other casting characters. Even Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, he's like, oh, Patrick Mahomes has had nobody for all these, you know, for all these weeks. He's, you know, he's he's down on backup wide receivers and, and running backs as well. Well, one, he's got Andy Reid. And two, he's been playing terrible and his numbers prove it. I mean, the dude, I think he's like leading interceptions right now. I mean, he's got like way, he's got like, I forget the exact numbers now. They played six games. What does he have? Like eight or nine interceptions in six games. I mean, it's what he's playing awful. He is not playing good by any stretch of the imagination. So yes, we could say, oh, look, he's been doing it. Yeah. And he's been awful. His defense has carried the way. They would not be six and oh, if he had the Bengals defense losing. The Bills defense losing. The Ravens defense losing. Anyone but the Chiefs defense, and they are most definitely not 6-0. So to put this all on Patrick Mahomes as as putting on the cape, and therefore Brock Purdy can't do it, so therefore Brock Purdy's not good, that's just a bridge too far for me. But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think about uh, the 49ers versus the Chiefs? how this game unfolded, any conclusions that you can draw. Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment, so whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions, let's get in some fights, but ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're on our way to doing it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.